start sir hello and welcome to tech talk series of tifac itech today we are extremely happy to have with us dr vyas rajan founder executive director of tifac we welcome you sir thank you dr rajan could you kindly recall what was the inspiration behind technology vision 2020 you have to look back tifax uh, worked till 1988 that is the middle of 1988 it almost started functioning and it did quite a bit of uh, work in almost all areas not just forward uh, up to 20 years many of them on a very short term the reason was india was technologically laggard during that period before that so almost in every sector you take cement you take steel you take sugar you take advanced composite most of these areas it was to be done and that is what i felt did some of them were called techno market surveys the fact that that was useful to industry was given by the fact that even a nominal charge that they gave money and that money part of it went for this building also so that to extend important plus also it led to three major missions sugar technology mission advanced composite mission and fly ash mission plus a home grown technology program which is not just r&d it is to upgrade the small and medium enterprises yes sir means popularly called to use technologies to go one level up so that they can go forward why i am mentioning this is five years of work created a very solid base of type of the industry is big small and when i came to so started knowing to be known internationally but it is during that strength of it okay got done so much so therefore the councils of during 1993 they got inspired by this work then they said yes we can do and they want to look ahead around 25 years similar to about some other countries of the day especially japan to see how we can do that's what it is is the base of the work of the typhoon otherwise to start with nothing and then say start it would have been difficult what is the significance of technology vision 2020 for a common man for a common man you can't just say it depends upon what you define as a common person india as i see as a bulky base out of the 1.2 billion i will put around 700 billion indian thing to that i don't want to call it poor or something there they are bulky based they are having almost every day they will have to they are not sure about the next day if there is one to leave aside the floods like this one disease something out so that is their precarious existence then above that the lower middle class and the middle class maybe you can put another 200 another 200 is the upper middle class who are it sector fellows who are working etc who got a little money and perhaps uh, those who have been in organized sector in government higher positions who have lived a good life and almost in the fag end of it they may get to umc upper middle class they can imagine to have a little better life have a car they have those things. then they put 100 million rich and super rich so if you say common man the common person in the bulky base and also those who are in the lower and upper middle class they would like to see a reasonably steady income for life they want to see work so they get work most persons normally are not necessarily lazy like what people think if they can get do work get a reasonable amount of money they are that's what they want so that is what one part of it another part of it the course is yes india we want an india which is powerful this that but i think that will be the thing in the upper middle class so 100 million rich one they would want to invest so that they can make more money so it is a complex interaction which takes place so if you look at vision 2020 it has catered to all this agriculture agro food processing a large amount of road infrastructure manufacturing many of these things are there the upper end will it come using of the biodiversity the oceans and the rare earth materials strategic sector electronics telecom 
again telecom will again interact with everybody. Even the bulky based person, if he gets an ordinary mobile to communicate, is good enough. So, all of this it has a value. In fact, it has a very balanced mixture of these whole things. Sir, in that exercise, uh, 16 sectors were chosen. Do you, at this point of time, looking back 20 years, feel that some sectors were missed out and uh, focusing them would have made a difference? Okay. Good question. To arrive at this, after they decided somewhere around September, October, they all, invariably people want it very fast. They asked us to get it within six or eight months, this whole exercise completed. But we said, we are to sell it. It took almost uh, six months in which we are industry people, we are users and many things. Several times we are requested the then secretary, Dr. Ramara, to be also be present. So to look at what is GDP wise, the gross domestic product, the economic wealth wise, which are important, which are good for that employment for the bulky. So when you look at all this, you have to now look back at around 94, 93 and 94 you are choosing the topic. I would say almost everything has been covered. One cannot talk about, can say about whether it is the education, the environment, they are all embedded in each one of them. One thing was deliberately kept up, kept away and reasons are obvious. I don't have to explain why it is. The regular operational production of defense equipment. Strategic sector considered a very advanced one, advanced sensors and uh, nuclear and things like that. The actual regular, what is production, defense production has a lot of effect on industry, quality of the industry, SMEs to everybody, plus also it employs a lot of people. It has a, a good part of the GDP produces. That was kept away because it would have been too complicated for TIFAC to handle and also in a public domain to handle them would have been difficult. Except for that, I don't see. But in some areas you will find, okay, telecom, one could go only to that level. In 93, 94, to imagine even in 95, to imagine that India will have such a telecom revolution would have been impossible. Mm -hmm. Services sector. But if you see, I look back now, some of those who have contributed, they have really thought of everything, including security services, which has become very high. So on the whole, I would say, nothing very specific has been left out. Sir, can you pinpoint few developments post-1996, yes. singularly attributed, attributable to Vision 2020? See, I would say in, in this, we had all of us have to have a little bit of uh, humility. India is such a vast country, so huge an economy, so huge a society and employing so many people and so many things come. That is item number one. And number two, take any product today or any services, it is unlike the earlier days, some hundred years ago. It is just hundred years ago you can say, okay, invention of a diesel engine or some system or a transistor. Here now there are any product is having, if you take the mobile, it will have some 150 technologies, hard technologies. So, given that, what is the credit? Therefore, to say that we told so, therefore it happened. Because there is a complex governance system in which science and technology is a small part. It may be important part, but a small part. Tyvek itself is a, in that a tiny organism, but it did a good job. What it achieved is that Almost everybody post that 96, I think, August 96, 2 or I don't remember, uh, 1996, the then Prime Minister dedicated the 25 reports. Then it so happened that we had to communicate, Dr. Kalam and me, that is in 98, the book. It electrified to even 96 itself. You should see the press cover here. Every organization, even industry, started saying our vision 2020. Many organizations started doing that. So to that extent, yes, we have to look ahead and uh, India to become a developed country by that time. This concept powerfully came from the Vision 28 exercise. Then several other things, I know of some detail where somebody will say we have picked it up even in the pharma field. But 
they are not documented, they will not tell it because he also told me. I don't want to even tell who the person is, very big industry. Rajan, we got quite a bit, but we will not even tell competitive reasons. They will not even say what would you have to do. So on the whole, it has contributed to a general ambience in which people think about use of technologies, upgradations, and going ahead, and India cannot be happily sitting in the license for my quota raj. And then you have to go ahead. This one, I can say yes. Any product or any service, to tell that for anybody, even to big organizations which have delivered, or big industries which have delivered, I would say no. Nobody can claim it. That's such a huge country. So which key efforts by institutions are helping us realize the vision that we had put before ourselves? It's almost, see, government, state governments, they come in terms of policy and facilitation. They are crucial. Industries, industry associations, all these are required. But I wouldn't say which is the key element. Key element will depend upon what topic is done. Say, for example, in sugar technology mission when we were trying to do, there was a uh, item which came from the Ministry of Food. It led to generally upgradation of sugar. Some of the things, uh, some I don't want to tell the brand names of those companies, they use that name, pure, mm -hmm. sulfur free. These things came from typhoid. Similarly, leather sector, a huge type of things which was triggered off. So, these are the type of civil come, but I, I don't think that uh, we can pinpoint a particular institution. The whole set of them, including foreign ones, they show interest, want to do something with you. So, all these are required. And uh, what fight like organization can catalyze them. But even then, they can't be held responsible for every item because the other fellows are investing their money, they are taking the risk, they are putting the thing. And then the government makes certain policies. Policies not only the white paper. What taxes you do. Suppose in some areas you reduce tax. That area grows up. But whatever you say, it may not be enough. Our hardware in, a, in the IT sector did not come up well, as well as it should have been. Now everybody laments it. Is that the IT sector software was given all concessions. Whereas the uh, hardware, corresponding hardware was not taken care of. So it's a complex web of policies and everything. So I would pinpoint any institution. So what extra efforts could have taken us closer to fulfilling our dream of a developed India? Country has to will. Country has to do. And what I would say is, one has to be ready to do about uh, 20 years of slog. No country in the world has pulled out of its backwardness or laggard, whether it is Japan, I am not telling about the developed the countries it can, which had the luxury of doing it over 250 years after the Industrial Revolution. Say Japan, 1970. We quote it in the Revolution Day book, 20 years. Net technology exporter. Korea. So, in fact, I have addressed many of the constraints which have not facilitated, which has not done the way it ought to have been. It could have been. Because it was not a big dream at all. It was a, a large number of 5,000 fellows who responded. They were by and large conservative. They were battered so many years before. And during 95 time frame, there was a financial crisis. You look at it. It's similar to what it was, but a milder, but there was a financial crisis. Nobody will even accept a 6% growth. Things were down. So in spite of all this, that one which I have put it in, I think, one of the Indo-UK workshop in which you had a workshop on foresight. That one you have to give the link. The paper is available. I just said, uh, with a uh, foresight exercise. What the lessons learned and lessons yet to learn. Explain all this. 
Because first of all, we are very slow in action. It takes seven to ten years. I have recorded it somewhere else. For anything people accept, for them to start and launch and do, it takes seven to eight years. Unacceptable in the current year. It has to be within a year. Get start and going. All those countries which have done, China included. That is around the time when we look back when our studies were done in China, but again approximately similar. So to answer your question is, they have to look back into my that paper. It is an actual experience of Typhi, in a sense that not only limited to Typhi because Typhi has got a thing links to everybody. It has almost touched everybody. And what it was, what those constraints are, we have to overthrow. And in other words, we have to learn time rate of interaction is what I call it. It has to be speeded up. And it has to be a, yes, I will do. And then do it on a scale which is commensurate with the market size. If I were to talk about, I did over half a million steel, I produced.